about to hit him, bro. You hear that? You hear that? Fire me up. Fire me up. La, 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 wait till I give my money right. I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven. When I woke, I smit that on a necklace. Welcome to the first ever Degen Dalt YouTube video slash vlog. We have racked up over 83,000 subs on this channel with only short form content. I'm super fortunate and thankful for that, but it's time to throw out a long form banger for the boys. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Let's get it. I took a trip to Las Vegas this past weekend, and what a f roller coaster that was. From the worst blackjack run of my life to the infamous Mr. Wong Baccarat story, stick along for the ride because you are not going to want to miss this. We started off our weekend at the Mirage, and guys, let me tell you, this might have been the craziest night of my life. We checked it at midnight, and obviously we threw down our luggage and started pressing at the tables. I have never run this bad in my life. I lost two grand in the first five minutes playing high limit blackjack off some of the most ridiculous hands I've ever seen. I'm talking Greg special after Greg special after Greg special. And in typical Vegas fashion, I managed to go on complete tilt and within three hours of landing, I was down roughly 10 grand and I only brought 12. At this point, it's about 4 a.m. and that's when Mr. Wong comes in the story. My head's down, I'm defeated. My head's down, I'm defeated, and I'm walking to my room about to call it quits for the night. A random man came from the shadows and asked me why I look like I just got hit by a train. I show him my last thousand dollars and explain that I lost just about everything I brought to Vegas. This man says, what if I can make a promise that I can 100% guarantee I make all your money back tonight? And the degenerate that I am, the wheels start turning and the heart starts racing. I'm so desperate and I decide to take a chance. I tell him, I'm in. He puts out his hand and he says, call me Mr. Wong. And this is where things get crazy. This man is apparently banned from almost every casino in Vegas. So he takes me to some shady casino and puts my thousand dollars on a Baccarat table. Within 10 minutes, this is what's on the table. This guy could not lose a hand even if he tried. We might have won 10 straight hands, switching from banker to player. It literally didn't matter what we bet, we won. At this point, he's betting $2,000 on a single hand with my own money and watch what happens. Bang! Natural nine, every damn time. Unfortunately, it was a tie, but still insane. I'm not sure if this was luck or this guy was an actual magician, but I didn't care. He was winning or tying everything. Here's another $2,000 hand, unfortunately, we didn't win this one either, but again, another tie. Now this was the first casino we went to, $10,000. I explained to him that I had to check into another room at 10 a.m. and he quickly takes me to another sketchy casino and we win another 10 bands in just under an hour. And here's some footage of when I came back to the Mirage at 9 a.m. Mr. Wong turned my 1K into $22,000. Now this is about 18,000 because I threw him 4K, but this was such a revival. Now, unfortunately, Mr. Wong told me he wanted to remain anonymous, but man, if you're out there watching this, you are the mother goat. Now it's 10 a.m. and I'm on my way to check into my new suite at Trump International. I take a quick shower and this is when the fun begins. We had to circuit casino to throw down some big bets on the UFC fights and the NFL Saturday games. I was on Leon Edwards by knockout or TKO and I sprinkled a little bit on the submission so you all know how that went. Now fast forward a few more hours of degenerate gambling and it was time for the UFC fights. I donated about two grand because Leon only won by decision, but more importantly, we had a good ass time. But obviously, my night did not end there. We are getting my 2K back that I lost at the fights. I was very intoxicated at this point in the night, so we marched over to MGM to buy in for $1,000 in the high limit blackjack room. This point in the night is a complete blur, but I do remember looking down at my chips and counting $12,000. And then I go to take a quick picture and immediately get turned down by the pit boss. 
of course. And I don't remember anything after that, but I did wake up in the morning with $6,000 worth of chips in my pocket and this awful picture of me with Colby Covington, so I guess it was a success. This brings me to my last day in Vegas. I'd say I'm up about six or seven grand when you take into account the losing sports bets and the late night high limit run. The first trip of the day was to go back to MGM to cash these chips. Then I was strictly filming content because I realized I have no footage and I only spent my time degenerate gambling. I started off by heading to the Bellagio to film a 1K to 8K challenge. So for those of you who didn't watch the video, I'll throw in a quick clip. I have $1,000 in my pocket. I'm gonna bet it all on one hand at the Bellagio. We're gonna let it ride at Caesars Palace and we're gonna finish it off at the Flamingo, the best casino in Las Vegas. When it's all said and done, I'm gonna have $8,000 in my pocket and I'm gonna fly my ass home. Wish me luck. The first stop was the Bellagio High Limit Room. We put down a $1,000 bet and we get a 20 versus six. Dealer busted and we won this with no sweat. We then marched over to Caesars Palace for stop number two, checked out the Bellagio waterfall, and had to take an absolute hike to get there because of the construction. We make it to Caesars, and boys, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared to win this $2,000 bet at Caesars because then I'd have to throw down 4K at the Flamingo. But let's see how this goes. Sixteen versus four, five car twenty-one. I just got hit with a fucking Greg special. Yup, we got smoked. The vibes were extremely low, but then I got a call from my boy Bratsky and we met up to film some content. And of course, we got absolutely smoked once again. I'm hungry to see a win and my flight home is in a couple hours, so there's only one thing to do. That's right, go back to Mirage and get back the $10,000 that they stole from me. And fellas, you can probably imagine how this went, so let me insert a meme to better describe it. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I gave the shitty Mirage another 4K before my flight, and now we're barely hovering above even, maybe up about $800. And I decide this is a good time to pack my bags, head to the airport, and get the hell out of Vegas. But that leaves me with one final stop. Put the remaining $800 into a slot at the airport and hope I hit a jackpot so I can stay another week. But of course, once again, we got rinsed. Overall, we came back even, and sometimes that's all you can ask for on a degenerate trip to Vegas. Now, I do want to say a quick shout out to all the fans that came up to me to say what's up, to get a picture. There's nothing that cheers me up more when I'm getting absolutely mucked at the casino. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've never made something like this before, so drop a comment, subscribe if you like this kind of content. And one final note, Mr. Wong, if you're out there, please hit me up. I need to introduce you to a friend. His name is Greg the Dealer. I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven. When I woke, I smit that on a necklace. I told God I'll be back in a second.